welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I have Mia back on the channel. Um, if you guys didn't see, she was in the Friendsgiving video, so we're back. Um, Mia is very, very artistic and really good at like painting and drawing and stuff. Sure. And she just, I don't know, she's so good at it. And we we're trying to come up with a video idea, so we're gonna come up and recreate a Bob Ross painting tutorial. Um, disclaimer, we don't have like easels or anything. This was the best that I could come up with for this one. Or we're just gonna hold it. Or we're gonna hold it, so... Um... Yeah, yeah uh, we're gonna just try to... Go right into it, I guess. I suck at painting! Hello, I'm Bob Ross. And I'd like to welcome you to the 24th Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, Please allow me to extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your brushes. Oh, a personal invitation! Across the screen that you need to paint along with us. Oh, all the colors that we need. There's all the colors that we need right here. I have a standard old 18 by 24 inch canvas, but you use any size. Oh, 18 by 24 inch. Double prime canvas. Then I've covered the entire canvas with just a very thin, even coat of liquid white. Now, liquid white is an oil-based... Ours is white. The <laughs> Sapphire green. Favorite. I thought we'd just do a very warm little scene. Oh, that should feel good in here. I've got, like, this color. Yeah? Okay, so we got the yellow. This is going to be so bad. A little color on the brush. Let's go in here. Maybe we'll have a beautiful little sky right that's just full of warm colors. And, as I said, it sort of makes you feel good when you look at it. Makes you feel good. Make you little hexes, little crisscross folks go all the way across the canvas. Look, so. Yeah, oh, and then we will have a little water here. I love water. Water. <laughs> water is not yellow. I'm so confused with how he says water. Okay. Does it look like a totally different yellow? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what this is or what we're going to be doing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, okay. We didn't prime our uh, thing in oil base, so that's where we first messed up. So this probably isn't going to be blending well. I need a beauty blender. <laughs> I'm just going to be like really yellow. This is super uneven. I don't even know what I'm doing. He said, that's the water? He did. Remember that what he said? He said, I love water. Wait, oh. can you touch the water? Wait, I can't tell if I hit it. Oh yeah, the water. Oh, here we go. I love water. I think I'm going to take a dry brush now because this is really pigmented and I think I'm just going to try to like... There we go. It's such a crooked line too. Okay, this is really crooked. That's what's going on. Alright. And then, I'll take what without cleaning the brush was just quenched. He just cleaned it on his jeans. Of the yellow ochre. Still making our little crixes. And just like that. Why does his look so smooth? This is so pigmented compared to his. Oh my god. Oh. Really? Yeah, probably add this. Yeah, I think something. Or add water maybe to the. Alright. He said without washing the brush. So, we're gonna do the brown now. We have these paints now, so. His is so, like, slowly blended. Uh, you know? I cannot tell you what this is right now. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Alright, well, step number two. <laughs> Well, that's just that. I don't. Water. Crazy. Time to get crazy. Time to get crazy. Let's go right into the bright red. Red. And red's such a warm color. It just, it just makes you feel good when you look at it. Makes it's you happy. So yeah. Color. Okay. Yeah. How does this color last so long? Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm sorry to anyone who's actually like good at this stuff who's watching this right now. If we think we're doing bad with this part, 
Just wait till we get to like the detail part where we actually like have to try. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> what even is this? I added way too much water to this. I have no idea. Yours actually looks good. Just a happy little cloud up here. We can we can make the indication of blue cloud. The color on the brush, the blue and the crimson. So just kind of. I don't even know how. Are you, where are you doing yours? Just clean the brush. Now, very lightly. Three hairs and some hair. We'll just go right over those. Just blend them. I'm so confused. He makes this look so easy. Nothing is blending. Yeah, I'm doing nothing. Like, yeah, I'm going over the white part. I have no idea what's going on. I don't care. Next. Next. Let me just say something real quick. He has all these colors and he just like has the names memorized. Like they're they're on a palette, so obviously doesn't have their names. But we got plastic knives. <laughs> this technique is so fantastic because it allows you individuality. Because the canvas is wet, you can move this paint. You can pull it. Our canvas is like wet. I'm so scared to do this. This is so hard. Oh my god. I'm gonna just do it with a brush. Oh no! I, I don't even know how to draw mountains. This is so bad. <laughs> Cut the camera. Yeah. This is too blue. Let's put a little hat. Yeah, but at this point, I think it's too late. These do not look like mountains. At all. I don't <laughs> honestly know what I'm doing anymore. Mine are crooked. Literally crooked. This is so bad, like really bad. This looks like water. Is this gonna be water? I think so. Yeah. I mean, they wouldn't How is it gonna be water? It wouldn't, wouldn't <laughs> ah! What even is this? It looks like shark fins. Oh my god, I have no idea what happened. Next. Alright. Today. I need a that's what Touch. I want to do the knife. Oh my god. Plastic knives. I know. I think I need to see the motion here. No pressure. What is this? What the? Why is this? Oh! I don't know what happened here. Oh! This looks like waves. Maybe just a touch more. Oh, add a little band like brown. And just a touch. I don't even know what he's doing right now. I'm still trying to color this. So it shows. No. There's more mountains. We are not doing this again. Why does he make this look so easy? Yeah, I'm not adding in anymore. Do one little bush at a time. Don't get greedy. 
Sometimes it starts working. So just enough to change the flavor a little bit, make it stand out as an individual. Change the flavor a little bit. Oh my god. These do not look like bushes at all. Okay, I give up on those. I just messed up my Sap green. Where is the water source? <laughs> That's what you've ever seen. Um, but as traditional trees, we'll take some white. I need to stop because the more I'm doing to this. Together, just touch. We're not going to see. See? There. And you can just take a scrape right through the paint. There we go. So when you're doing your painting, you change it anyway that makes you feel good, see, and that you can do, anybody can do. I've absolutely never met anyone who could not paint. There. What is this? Yours looks good. About that, I thought, you know, hey, go follow Bob Ross paint tutorial. It's gonna look good. Um. Hmm. Not how I expected it. All in all, this was more stressful than it was fun. Mia's looks really good. Mine looks like shit. So, uh, how'd you like this tutorial? Alright, well, I'm probably gonna end this, uh, end this video here. This was a total fail. I thought this was gonna be so good. I'm like feeling good about it. Like we're kind of artistic. Like, we got this. It was so bad. Like for uh, part two of a Bob Ross painting um, without stopping the video. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to show mine. It looks good from afar. from afar away. Just like look like this.